There is a new Conor McGregor in the UFC. Where he's from, who he is, and why I believe he could be the next big thing in this video. Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. Salam alaikum, my brother. It is pretty rare that I do a video about someone new just coming up, having one fight in the UFC, already talking about how big they could be, comparing them, whatnot. I did it with Diego Lopez, for example, and you see what he's doing now, right? So. I would say for myself, I don't just talk about someone like that if there's not a lot of truth behind it. And what I have to say is, look, I sat there a few Saturdays ago when Mauricio one-shot Rufi was having his appearance, his lightweight debut in the UFC against Jamie Mulaki, a UFC, well, not a legend, but a veteran, you could say. And Mauricio Rufi went in there and put on a clinic like Conor did against Alvarez. I mean, he just pieced him apart in every sense of the of the word of the way. Like, it was insane. Oh my God, this is crazy. What you have to see is I am as big of a Conor fan as you could possibly be. Fanboy, the man was a fanboy. So I would never say, I would never call someone the next Conor. I would never compare someone's fighting style to Conor's if it wouldn't be that accurate. Like, I take it as an insult when people compare random other fighters to Conor. I take it as an insult to young Conor and stuff like that because young Conor was something special. And Mauricio Rufi, I saw him on a contender series as well, but I didn't really remember him that much. But then when he went into the octagon against Malarkey, like in the first 30 seconds, I was like, you know that, that Renato DiCaprio moment when he's on the couch, like, uh, 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 that's it, that's it. I was like, that's Conor. Je m'appelle the notorious Conor McGregor. He fights exactly like Conor fought in his prime when he was young and up and coming. Exactly like him, beautiful karate stance. And it's not just like, you can fight in the stance and everything like him, but the way he fights, his technique, his timing, his accuracy, exactly like Conor was. This is Bruce Lee shit. Perfect distance management. If you fight like that, your distance management is so important. Rufi has the distance management of a champion. The way he fights, it's literally, if you would change the face to Conor's face, you wouldn't see that much of a difference of a young Conor, as I said. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, I was enjoying every second of the performance. I couldn't believe what I saw. It was so beautiful. His fight IQ is so insanely high. He's only 27 years old. Well, he turns 28 on the, in June of 2024, but he's still very young. He's only 10 and one now after that win. So still very young in his career. The way he approached that foul, how he saw everything coming his way. His looseness in there, he wasn't like tight, you know, most people when they have their first UFC fight, they're tight, they're like, you know what I mean, you're, yeah, I don't want to make mistakes and whatnot, and I'm nervous and that, big stage. Big stuff, like big stake, and I like big checks, big money, let's go to the He was in there as calm as you can be, uh, perfect distance management, didn't, didn't rush on anything, even when he had him hurt, didn't rush on anything, fought like a veteran in there with the technique of a freaking champ. I mean, it was just poetry in motion. For example, when, when, when Mularki uh, threw a, I think it was a, a left straight or something, and Rufi saw it coming, but he saw that he couldn't get out of the way anymore. He saw that it's too close already. I can't let you get close. So what most people would do is they would just stand there and try to maybe get their hands up last second and just uh, limit the impact of the punch. He just did this. Is he fucking awesome? He just rolled, because if you do this, you see? You roll with it. You still absorb the punch, but you roll with it, which takes a lot of the power out from a strike. And whilst you may sit there with your chips box, with your fat belly there, <laughs> what's so special about that? I could do that as well. That's weird, huh? If you know something about martial arts, you know that's next level like that seeing that in the last moment and doing it like adapting on the go because normally he always uses hat movement his distance to stay out of the way from the punches seeing that you can't evade the punch anymore and instead of just trying to uh, shell up beautifully rolling with the punch. i mean that was just 
the whole performance poetry emotion this guy has a bright bright future he's from brazil he's from the fighting nerds a great gym that is having a big come up right now they all started on the contender series they all have phenomenal performances and you've seen in guy borai is kind of the team captain in my opinion and he's on close to getting getting close to a title shot right now in the middleweight division so this team is on fire he has beautiful striking I'm pretty sure being from Brazil and training with the Fighting Nerds, his grappling is also very good. And what's most important is the Fighting Nerds seem to be a gym that you have so many amazing fighters in that gym that give you good looks, that can imi imitate uh, your opponent and that keep you humble as well. You're not the, the guy who beats everyone in that gym up every day. You are one of a lot that are all in the UFC and whatnot. They have a lot of fighters in the UFC right now and they're all as good as they come. So that is so important for a guy that has a crazy performance like that. Because what you have to see, even Dana made a tweet or an X post. Dana, and he doesn't do that often. That's another sign. Like they, It's just like I do these videos. Dana doesn't just post that on, on Twitter for fun. He doesn't do it all the time. He posts, I don't remember the exact words. I have to but butcher it here. But like, holy crap, that was one of the craziest um, debuts I've ever seen. Blah, 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 this and that. If... A Dana who's seen thousands and thousands of debutants, thousands and thousands of great performances in their first fight, post something like that, that should mean something. I can tell you, if what we saw against Malarkey is what he will always show, this guy can 100% be in the top 10 pretty soon in one, two years. He shouldn't rush it, but he has a great future ahead. I would not be surprised if he will be a champion in three, four years. Remember the name Mauricio Rufi from the Fighting Nerds, remember him. And he also talks English, which is a big plus in my opinion. You know my opinion on people who come to the UFC or fight in the UFC in America for a long time and don't talk English. He had his first fight in the UFC other than the Contender Series and he already talks English. So this guy, like his stock will rise like crazy in the next few years. Mark my words, Mauricio One Shot Rufi. Check him out, follow him on his socials, write your opinions in the comments, guys. What do you think about Mauricio Rufi? Do you think it's just a high stream, blah, 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 Connor was never that good anyways, this and that. Write your opinion in the comments, guys. I would love to hear it. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, I would appreciate that. Check out the Blastfoot merch, these shorts, for example, and many other products, blotshop.net, worldwide free shipping with the code free. Check it out, I would love for you to check it out. <laughs> Stay bloody, guys, and until the next one, bye-bye. Blastfoot out.